everyone! For today's Halloween video, we're going to be making a pumpkin piñata. To make this, you're going to need some newspapers, balloons, PVA glue, crepe paper, some brushes to put the glue on, and then some string. The first step is going to be blowing up your balloon. So you're going to inflate your balloon, you're going to put it to one side, and then you're going to take a bowl or a beaker or some sort of container and fill it up with your PVA glue. The way I always make piñatas is by using paper mache so it's layers of glue and newspaper that dry, so it's strong enough to hold its shape, but it's weak enough that if you give it a good smack with a stick, it'll fall apart. Take your brush and start applying your glue onto one side of your balloon, and you're going to take newspaper and you're going to rip it up into little strips, and you're going to then stick these strips onto the balloons. Try to avoid really big dark pictures because sometimes if you're using a light colour like an orange crepe paper over the top, you can see it through them. So if you've got really bright, um, if you've got, sorry, really dark coloured pictures, like I'm using a farmer's journal, so it's basically just what it sounds like. It's a journal for farmers. Uh, there's lots of cattle pictures and grass pictures. That's very dark. So you need to make sure to just use the opposite side of the paper up, use the lighter green or use a white and use the text part, just so it looks a little bit better. When you have your layer of glue down, you stick on your paper and then you coat it with glue again, just so it's got a nice thick layer of glue and so that it's going to, when it dries, be hard enough that you can pop the balloon and take it out without ruining the paper. When you've completely done one layer, you're going to want to hang this somewhere to dry. Make sure to put some paper underneath it because sometimes it'll drip glue when you put a lot of glue, so you don't want it to ruin your floor, especially if it's carpet or such. When you've done one layer, what you're going to do is you're going to wait for that to dry and you're going to the following day do a second layer. So I like to do two or three layers all together and that way I can definitely not see the balloon through any of the paper. I know it's going to be thick enough to hold its shape when the balloon is removed. When you have enough layers of newspaper and they're all completely dry, you're going to do exactly the same thing all over again. You're just going to use crepe paper. So this balloon is completely dry. It's hard. I can hold it all over and it holds its shape. So I know it's ready to have crepe paper added to it. What I like to do to make sure I don't miss any patches and have it the wrong colour, I like to put glue on the balloon itself and just put little strips of crepe paper sideways. And then I'll, at the end, put longer strips of crepe paper from top to bottom so that it has a nice uniform shape and it doesn't look all patchy. And that way it just has a, I think it looks nicer, it looks prettier. If you've got an artistic hand and you've got the time, you can do very small rectangles from bottom to top so they layer. And that's all the, the sort of commercial piñatas you'd buy, all the little sort of tufty paper pieces they have. That's how they do that. So you can do that. It'll just take a while. And I didn't really have time for that. So um, I decided that the thing's being beaten to death anyway. So I'm just going to do the, the, the bare minimum of it looks pretty without the hours of time it would take to wait for it all to dry. Just like with your newspaper, you're going to just let that crepe paper dry and then after about another day, it should look something like this. So I put the glue on too, uh, too blobby, too much in uh, the one place near the top there, which is why it looks like that. So that's, it'll, it will make it look darker, whereas with, say, black crepe paper, it doesn't do that. So when it's completely dry and you've made sure, you take your scissors and what you do is you put a really tiny hole just at the neck of the balloon and that'll let out the air. Sometimes when you do this, you nip near the neck, you let the air out really slowly, and then you kind of let out more and more air as you go, and the balloon actually shrinks and peels away from the glue, and you can just pull the balloon straight out of that little hole. However, uh, sometimes with cheaper balloons, and these balloons are extremely cheap, it was something like 40 of them for a euro, so these ones are really cheap, so they've actually stuck to the glue really, really well. So I had to make a bigger and bigger hole to let out the air, and eventually I just kind of cut it off, and the balloon was still stuck to the inside of the uh, piñata in the shape of the piñata. You can't leave the balloon like that because it will not burst if you hit it with a stick because it's, it's just going to have all the food inside it. If you fill it up with sweets, they're just going to be sitting inside a balloon and you'll be beating it, trying to get the food out, and it will not go. Or if it does, if you burst it, uh, the balloon is just going to shrink around all the food and it's, it's just going to fall into a balloon of food. It's not actually going to be the pretty explosion of food that you want. So you need to remove the balloon, but you can do this by using your scissors to just scrape the inside of the uh, piñata gently, and just the, the blunt sort of point of the scissors is enough to scratch it and cause it to start peeling itself, and you can pull it out fairly easily after that. Once all of the balloon is removed, you've basically just got your piñata ready to go. All you have to do is decorate it a little bit. 
So I like to just go simple and use a piece of black paper and I cut out two triangles for the eyes and then I cut out a little black smiley mouth and then just use some tape to stick them on and then you've got your little happy pinata. You can also use glue and glue dots and things like that but I just didn't want to have to wait another length of time to have them dry because I'm impatient and I've already waited for three layers of paper and a layer of crepe paper so I, I was not waiting anymore. So if you want to use tape, just roll it up and put it on the back of the piece of paper and that way you don't have to see it and it just sort of sticks on like magic. It's great. Um, and if you're using glue dots, you can just stick them on the back straight on and they're fantastic. I just didn't have any on hand, which is a pain. You can also use a marker and just draw on a face, but I would suggest uh, making sure either you've got really good hands so you don't make a mistake or maybe making a stencil or such. And then aside from that, just make sure that... Um, you don't rip the crepe paper because it's very, very delicate, so ink might ruin it a little. And there you go, you have a little tiny happy piñata that doesn't know what's going to happen to him. We're not going to tell him because that would make him sad. And he's adorable and we love him. And I'm going to fill him with dog biscuits and beat him and let Beauty pick up all of his remains. And it's going to be great fun. So, yep, that's it for this Halloween video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next Halloween video. Thank you for watching.